Hello and welcome to Windows Server 2012 Training 101. My name is Don Crawley. I'm from SoundTraining.net. We're the Seattle, Washington-based publisher of learning resources and provider of accelerated training for IT professionals. This time I'm going to show you how to promote a Windows Server 2012 box to a domain controller. Your equipment software requirements, you'll just need one computer running Microsoft Windows Server 2012. Prerequisites. In order to do this exercise, you'll need a Windows Server 2012 administrator user account and password and a willingness to work in the command line environment. Uh, we're going to do this entirely in PowerShell. You can certainly do it in the GUI. It's just easier to do it in PowerShell. And so that's the way we're going to do it. Here's a summary of the steps. There's really only two. You'll add Active Directory domain services to the server, and then you'll create a new domain controller in the root of a new forest. And that's it. Here's your disclaimer. The video is provided solely as a courtesy to you, our viewer. There are no guarantees whatsoever. Do not attempt these procedures on a production server without first testing them for security and suitability in a lab environment. Performing these procedures may open your server to the public internet and subject your network to attack, so make sure you have current backups and take precautions including data encryption and additional access controls to protect sensitive data. All right, so we're logged on to our Windows Server 2012 box as administrator. Let's go ahead and open up PowerShell with a click there, and I've set the font to be a little larger to make it easier for you to see. And we're going to execute two commands. The first one is going to add Active Directory domain services to the server. And so let's go ahead and do that now with a command add dash windows feature dash name, then ad dash domain dash services. Check it and make sure that you typed it right. It seems like I often, especially when I'm typing these long commands, will mistype something, fat finger it. So just make sure that, that uh, you've typed it right and that looks good. Now let's also include the management tools in it. So we'll do dash include, oops, that has to be capitalized, include management tools. And we'll hit enter. It's going to whir for a few minutes. This takes a few minutes, so we'll do an edit when it's done and come back and, and uh, show you the completed uh, server. And we're done. Now we've installed Active Directory Domain Services, but now we also need to install a new domain. And so our next commit is going to create a new domain controller in the root of a new forest. And um, so we'll use the command install dash ADDS forest dash domain name, and then we'll put our domain name, and the one I'm going to use is soundtraining.local. Obviously, you'll want to use something unique to your domain, but here we go. And we'll close it with quotes and hit enter. And it's going to whir for a few minutes, asking for the safe mode administrator password. And confirm it. Now, um, you'll notice here it's saying the target server will be configured as a domain controller and restarted when the operation is complete. Do you want to continue? And of course we do. Otherwise, why would we be doing it, right? So we'll go ahead and just hit enter. That's the default. And as before, we'll do a couple of edits here uh, so that you don't have to watch the whole process come back when it's done. By the way, it will install um, not only Active Directory, uh, which is already there, but uh, create the domain. It will also install DNS for us. And so when we come back, we'll have a fully functioning Active Directory domain controller. It will come back when it's done. All right, so we've rebooted and we're logged in. And by the way, this whole process takes quite a few minutes. So um, obviously we are taking advantage of the editing capabilities here so you don't have to sit and watch the entire process. But it does, it'll does; it take several minutes depending on um, the the power of your server and, and how much memory you have and so on. I mean, you, I'm, I'm certain you're aware of that. However, we're, uh, we're rebooted, we're logged on, and I've got the server manager open. And if you'll take a look here, you can see that we have created the domain soundtraining.local. Let's scroll to the very bottom of the server manager and you can see the roles that have been installed. So we'll scroll down and notice right there it says Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server, along with obviously a lot of other roles. So that's the process. Uh, it's very simple. It's just time consuming. Um, and that is the new version of DC Promo, if you recall that from earlier versions of Windows Server. Now we have to do it with a little more convoluted command, but 
Uh, that's how it's done. If you'd like more learning resources, we have them available at our website at soundtraining.net. I blog at soundtraining.net slash blog. You can subscribe to our newsletter at soundtraining.net slash newsletter and get updates as to when we have new videos, new training courses, new books, new materials, and also an occasional rant on my part, which is also available if you like us on Facebook at soundtraining.net slash Facebook. Please like us there. Um, you can follow us on Twitter or Google+. And if you'd like more videos, we have plenty of them. We're always adding new ones. Uh, they're available at soundtraining.net slash videos. And although we don't have a book on Windows Server 2012 at this time, we do have lots of books available on uh, Cisco products, Cisco routers, Cisco ASA, and on Linux servers as well as customer service for IT professionals, and they're all available at soundtraining.net slash bookstore. Well, I hope it's been helpful. For soundtraining.net, I'm Don Crawley. I'll see you next time. <laughs>